out there. And if you don't see it for like five hundred dollars, then if it's like below hundred dollars, then it's a scam. So I'm just asking your opinion on if that's something that I'm going to take. Is how, how did you source that out? So BPC-157 can be taken orally. It does not need to be injected. They're saying if you're doing it, you're more like if you're an athlete and you're trying to build muscle or whatever, then you could do an injection. But if you're doing it like for gut health and inflammation, you would take it orally. So well, I, wouldn't, I would disagree with that. You can take it both routes, and both routes would help both things. Uh, okay. But it is cheaper to take it orally, and you don't have to get it from a compounding pharmacy if you do it orally because it doesn't need to be sterile. And so where you run into the risks is if you are buying something off a website that you're injecting into your body and it's not sterile, is you run the risk of infection and bad reactions. If somebody has gut issues, how long does this somebody should be on that? They could be on it for a year. They could be on it for two months. Everybody's going to be different. It depends on... So if, I do, if I do it, should I try it for like two months and then get off of it? And then... Yeah, generally we recommend people to at least try one bottle, which is two months. And okay. then you decide from there if you want to continue if you are seeing benefits. There are some different protocols that we can do for our patients, but as a generic statement is try it for a month or sorry, for one bottle, which is two months, and then see if that is beneficial for you, and then you can decide to continue it or not. Is there um, any side effects or any kind of things that you know that like you know, that's the only thing that I'm trying to research? We have not had any patients have any side effects or negative reactions to the BPC-157 that we recommend, which is either injectable from a compounding pharmacy or the oral from DNA Health. There are people online who have discussed different side effects that they've had, such as emotional changes or other things like that. However, None of those people I've ever confirmed were taking, they were either doing injections from a research chemical website, which you can't guarantee that you're even getting what you say, or there could be something in there, like an endotoxin that could be contributing to those mental changes, or the oral forms they're taking are not from the supplier that owns the patent for the proper best absorbed version. So there's too many variables on those things. So some people have reported side effects. We have not had a single patient report side effects in the four years that we have been using this with our patients. And so I'm confident that, you know, the chances of you having side effects are extremely, extremely low if you use what we deem to be trusted sources, which is injectable from a compounding pharmacy or the oral from DNA Health.